going on, YouTubers? EXO coming at you here, feeling like a million bucks. I hope you're feeling fantastic yourself because today we are diving back into Little Blue with some big time amplifier swapping. That's right, Little Blue is going B2 white for the rest of the summer. As it sits right now, there is 10,000 watts of crescendo bass amps back here, but I'm gonna need to steal both of those bad boys for my big build in the Nissan. So let's get this show on the road with a good old amplifier swap. This is where I go slightly unconventional since the power and ground is still hot. I like to cover them up with some spare gloves. like that the top row of positive and negative is all nice and safe now we can separate the two amplifiers from the threaded rod stack we just got to undo those nuts on the top now we can safely take off the top amp no problem Now let's yank out that bottom one with a nice GoPro view. Holy crap, talk about a bundle of precariousness. I would hate to see a hole in one of these gloves. But hell, I've been doing this little trick for years and it's never done me wrong. That makes the last amplifier almost ready to be ripped out. Just gotta disconnect the RCAs over on this side. Last amplifier, teeter-totter it out of here nice and safely. Oh, dang it, fail. I forgot to undo the remote wire, dang it. Always gotta be that one thing you forget on video. Here we go, tuck that out of the way and that should do it, there she is. The standing tower of pieces leaning up on the side. I'll take those bolts off at the end, but look at that, big hunk of chunk of monka. Since this amplifier has dual terminals and we use dual inputs, that means we had four positive and negatives per amplifier. The new B2s have triple inputs and we're not gonna use duals on the triples, so that means we can pinpoint two of these positive and negatives each and pull them through this little hole because we won't need them in the end. Another one right here, which is the second longest. I'm getting rid of the longest first, that we can have nice short power runs. how we're taking away the two longest runs that go all the way to the end of the bar right here. Instead of having two long wires on one of these adapters, I alternated from long to short. Since our bus bar was going this way, I would alternate from which one was going which, just to keep things even. Pretty cool. And so our hardware isn't all loosey-goosey inside these holes here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the tops of them back on like nothing even happened. Mm -hmm. 
and I really want to fill up this empty space back here where my AGM battery used to go. The good old Ultra Cap 31 will fit in perfectly. If you haven't seen the latest Showtime special, be sure to check out our previous video to get in on some freebies. That means we're ready to go grab the new amps from inside, guys. That's right. I am so freaking excited. I can't even explain how awesome it was when Andrew over at B2 hit me up for testing out some brand new amps inside Little Blue, and they are so freaking nice. Oh my gosh. Proprietary this, proprietary that. Are you ready? Take a look at these. Rated at 5,500 watts on the birth sheet, it'll be the same power as before at one ohm, but nearly 1,000 watts more power at two ohm and above after impedance rises. There's also a beefed up array of cooling fans on the back acting as exhaust and intake. Everything stays nice and ventilated because the heat sink acts as a platform so the holes don't get blocked up. And all the power terminals are separated so the positives and negatives stay together. gonna work now is it having a fancy new board means we need to make a fancy new bottom platform so we can actually mount the dang thing we'll keep things super simple and bridge the new gap with some spare wood here no sense spending too much time and effort on this when we're kind of in a time crunch for the next show as it is Something super simple like this will do just the trick and just to make it so it's not so eye popping when you look at it I'm gonna chuck some black carpet down to match it as best I can All carpeted up definitely not perfect, but it's good enough for a bottom platform Anything that will help it blend in a little bit is good enough for me We'll anchor down with a couple screws on each side Now that we can take the hardware that was on our Nendos for the double stack madness and put it on our B2s. This is what will give us a double decker amplifier setup. I love stacking up amplifiers. It ends up looking so damn cool. Let's go ahead and get the second one. I'll give you a hundred bucks if you can look at this without a huge smile on your face. Oh my gosh, towering up beautifully. I cannot wait to get this thing pounding. right along with our amplifiers reaching for the sky. I was just gonna go ahead and start wiring the subs, but I forgot that the ends of our wires are still missing some barrels. That's what makes them look nice and tidy. See how the ends of them are kind of bird's nesty? It makes it wicked difficult to plug them in the amps like that. So we're gonna finish up the, all the ends of the wires and our positives and negatives with some ferrules. If you're looking for a good place to pick them up, go ahead and check out the links in the description. It really makes a big difference.
see how handy these things end up being. Makes life that much easier if you're big into testing and tuning like I am. Now, if you've been noticing, we're actually using the amplifiers themselves as the tool to do the crimping. That's what's so convenient about these things. So we can move right on to the positive and negative nice and quickly. Talk about a crick in the back, guys. I'm bending over backwards trying to get the right angles here. Putting my camera up nice and close so you can see everything. Now we're let down to the last couple positives. So I'm gonna take a little bit of break and I think it's time for some EXO movie magic. Next time you see this, everything should be lights a flashing. So let's cue the music and get this job done. Fast forward through some more spine altering steps and we have everything looking fantastic guys. I am so happy. We've been busting through like no one's business today. The freaking sun's about to be shining down the trees. So I figured it's about that time to be doing some basin. Now we got to address one thing that I've already done behind the scenes, which is turn on the amplifiers and get all excited about that. And I tuned the amplifiers and I have to say, we have got quite a lot of voltage coming out of these without the load applied to them. So it begs the question, why didn't I just record the whole process? Well, I wanted to take some time listening to Pandora because this whole time I've been like recording, thinking, recording, thinking. So I just stopped thinking and, you know, got my tools out and just had a nice little tuning sesh. So if you actually want me to bring you through that step, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Like, I don't know, tune it up, tune it up, bro. Or I don't know, show me how to tune it, whatever. But it is, a, it is a nice simple process, especially with the tools that we have nowadays. So here we are blabbing away when we should be just turning everything on. So let's go ahead and just show you guys that we got everything. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the LEDs and turn on the bass amplifiers. Show you that we have got a nice green light. You heard those relays click over just now. Oh yeah. And then the fans. Oh, the fans on the bottom. Look at that beautiful ventilation. Oh, it's beautiful. Everything else is looking mighty fine, if I do say so myself. I really love the separation of the power and ground here 100%. It really made working with these B2s that much easier. So hats off to them for going the extra mile. Now let's go ahead and turn them back off here. Got everything ready to be rocking. Actually, turn these things back on just one second. Oh, there they are the PSIs, and you know what? I think we're ready for the decals. I get this question still all the time. Oh man, the stickers change, the stickers change. They change all the damn time, man. I peel them off because when I change my subs, because I'm on the inside of my box all by myself, my logos end up being so crooked, so I just take them off and I redo them because ugh, the carbon fiber doesn't stick that much, but it sticks well enough to actually stick once you do put it there. So let's go ahead and go down the road and do a introductory blast session with the brand new amplifiers, the Falcon 05s from B2. Oh man, let's get crazy. And remember, the amps that we took out of this are going right back in to the truck that you see right behind me. Ah, dang it guys, I just pulled back into the driveway, found my little piece of cart that I was looking for. You wouldn't believe what happened, man. I got all the way down to the secret spot and I was like, man, my voltage is kind of low. I was at 13.2 volts and I hadn't even done anything yet. Well, my belt had slipped off so badly that now it's missing completely. I couldn't even find it. It's totally gone. So I freaking called up advanced auto auto zone whatever you call it and uh they got one in stock but it's 20 minutes away so that's 40 minutes of driving the sun is literally gonna set in like 30 minutes so i am i am bumming so hardcore because i want to listen to this but i'm gonna i'm gonna do my part holy cicada be quiet i'm gonna do my, my part and wait so i can get it on film so we can get the whole freaking the mortgage board on camera guys i am just ah uh, so uh, I'm gonna take the time right now. It's uh, the, the K050396 for the good old little blue special, man. All right, I'm gonna go down to the store and get me a belt, man. 
Ah, oh, what a bummer. Good old DJ slow and throw. much I don't know what I have been missing it's literally been since October since I brought this thing in and did a whole bunch of tweaks to it put like a deadener everywhere rubber rope to make sure the flex wasn't absorbing all my pressure SPL oh my gosh that precious volume I missed it so much oh man I am so happy right now the B2s are firing off like a bat out of hell I can't believe it I'm pretty sure that it sounds just as good as before if not better so in the comments let me know if you want to do like a power test I'll stick that cool little meter that tells the wattage on the amps we'll see how much power we're getting out of this thing but it's like 95 degrees I had to travel like 30 minutes to get here and I forgot all my tools my SPL tools all that so I am just beyond happy right now guys let's go ahead and jam one more song here good old classic DJ slow and throw man we're jamming let's play a little Heisenberg for the homies throwing it back to one of my favorite bass songs here man I can remember jamming this and Frankie like crazy let's get into it how awesome my voltage was doing too let me turn on my cooling fans back there that iraqi 300 was holding voltage like no one's business and that uc31 is helping out with the spikes in voltage because my mids and highs amp used to cut off 
because it used to get kind of a spikiness in there. So I am very happy, guys. Huge shout out to B2. I guess wearing a hat long enough does help out in the long run, huh? I can't thank them guys enough. Andrew, Jay, all the guys over at B2. Make sure you check out the links in the description. And as always, be sure to go to Showtime Electronics to check out all this cool gear you saw in this video and some other odds and ends. Until the next video, this is EXO signing out with this Falcon 5Ks. So damn excited. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I'll see you then. Okay.